Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory to his name. Welcome everyone to uh, a Wednesday night edition um, from Pastor Mark McCoy of New Harvest E Church in Harvest, Alabama. I, I normally don't come on live on Facebook on Wednesday night, um, but uh, we had a snafu on last Friday and Friday night lights program with the uh, get them uh, God in the midst, get them radio. So tonight I'm going to come back and uh, basically preach uh, the message over so that we can get the video right and all of that. Um, I praise God. I'm, I'm hoping that the audio is coming through well. Um, and I believe it is. I have a, a new mic <laughs> that I'm trying. Um, this series, this series, we started this series. My brother started this series on the Friday Night Lights program. And um, then he had uh, a medical issue to come up and uh, he could not finish the series. So he turned the series over to me to finish. And uh, we are on part three. Uh, uh, the writing is on the wall from Daniel chapter five. The writing is on the wall from Daniel chapter five. And we're in part three. It's your time. You can go on to uh, YouTube or you could go over to God in the midst. Uh, get them radio blog talk and you can listen to the previous two messages. But but this 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 one tonight, this one tonight, it, it, it's going to be called It's Your Time. It's Your Time. And we're going to be coming from Daniel chapter 5, Daniel chapter 5, starting at verse 13. Uh, let us begin reading. So Daniel was brought before the king and the king said to him, are you Daniel, one of the exiles that that my father, the king, brought uh, uh, from Judah. And I have heard that the spirit of God is on you and that you have insight, intelligence, and outstanding wisdom. The wise men, enchanters, were brought before me to read of uh, this writing and tell me what it means, but they could not find it. Now, I, I have heard that you are able to give interpretation and to solve difficult problems. If, if you can read this writing and tell me what it means, you will be colored in purple and have a gold chain placed around your neck and, and you will be made the third highest ruler in the kingdom. Then Daniel answered and said, you, you may keep your gifts for yourself and give your rewards to somebody else. Nevertheless, I will read the writing for the king and tell him what it means. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. The Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you. We ask you to have the Heavenly Father this night that, that, that you anoint afresh as only you can. You, you, you have the ability, God, to just anoint. And I ask you right now, get me out of the way and you get in the way. I ask you, the Heavenly Father, to decrease me and increase you right now in the name of Jesus. I ask for a word with excellence, Lord. I ask for a word that is precise. I ask for a word, the Heavenly Father, that will touch the hearts and minds of your people and those that they don't even know you in the pardon of the sin, that they also might be touched. Have your way, dear Heavenly Father. Have your way this night. Let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer who lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. As I said, the title of today's lesson is, is, is It's Your Time. This, this writing on the wall, Daniel 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 knew nothing about what was going on when it initially happened. If you ever read Daniel, Daniel chapter 1 talks about him. Jan, Daniel chapter 2 mentions him a little bit, but Daniel 
chapter three and four basically don't say too much about Daniel. It's about everybody else, his partner, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And then you get to, to chapter five and, and, and this new king, this new king, his name is Be, uh, uh, Belteshazzar, is having a, a, a dinner. And in this dinner, he decided, he decided, he decided to, to, to go and get the, the sacred cup from uh, uh, Jerusalem that they had in the treasure when they stole them. And so here it is now, uh, as he's sitting there with his wives and his friends and his contraband, he gets a text from God. He gets a text. God writes it on the wall with his hand. A hand appears and writes a text on the wall. Three Three words he, he writes on the wall. And so 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 Biel, uh, uh, Beldesar, he turns to his wise man and he turns to his astrologers and, and he asks them, do you know what these words mean? I, and, and, and I'll give you the, the, the third of my kingdom. I'll give you all of this stuff if you just tell me what these words mean. He got a text and he couldn't read it. But... He understood that he needed to call somebody. He tried his wise men and he tried his astrologers, but now, but now they said to him, you need to call Daniel. You need to call Daniel. Daniel, what, what could, you need to call, you need to call somebody. And so tonight we pick up this story after the king has called Daniel. And 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 it's and it's very very interesting that 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 when he called Daniel, when he called him, that that the time it took to write the words on the wall was minimal compared to all that aftermath. That's how that's how life can be. Sometimes it, it doesn't take a long time for an action to occur that 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 can change your life entirely. A split second decision can become the difference between life and death. A decision of passion can mean the difference between a life of happiness and a life behind bars. It only took a second for the writing to happen. A circumstance occurring in the household for a few minutes can cause years and years of grief turmoil and trouble. Maybe you've never experienced any of that, but it, it, but uh, but but I I have I've seen lives wrecked because of the person in the home who who's a promise to love and honor, protect, provide, and nurture becomes the main spokesman of the grief, the agony, the dishonor, the destruction, and the verbal abuse. I, I have seen lives wrecked when people when people have have made a decision that they knew were were illegal, but they decided to make that move even though surveillance cameras were not visibly present. And because of their decisions, jobs were hard to come by. A stigma was attached to their soul, and, and it looked like they would never be able to escape a split-second decision they made as a teenager that had ramifications over the course of their lives. In just a matter of moments, your life can change. Please hear me. Because there, there are those, there are those of us listening right now who 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 wear godly garments of praise that 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 has fell down on purpose, slipped up, got 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 torn up, manufacturing our own circumstance, and even felt the effects of our decision. However, this is a twofold because not only can you make a decision that that will work against you? There are some decisions you make today that will give you benefits in the future. 
If you don't believe me, let's let's let's, let's have a conversation with the class of 2018. I don't mean those men and women who are marching down the aisles of academia. I mean those persons who who have decided that this year I'm going to live better. I'm going to do better. I'm going to walk better. I'm going to talk better and do all it, do it all by the grace of the Lord. The decision that, that you make this year can have lifelong and even eternal benefits. Hallelujah. If you decide to give your life to God, oh, have mercy. Yes, glory. God will bless you with benefits of eternal life, a, a mansion in glory, joy, everlasting peace, and tranquility with him. But he also, mm -hmm, yeah, he also expects something return, some return on his investment. So it is in the life of, of Daniel. Daniel was now serving under his fourth king since, since Babylon was overruled by Israel. Uh, Babylon had, 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 had taken over Israel. Daniel and his companions, better known to us as Shadrach, Meshach, and that bad Negro, have now become entrenched in the system of law and the precepts of the land of Babylon. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon is not Israel. Babylon is not their home. Israel had but one God, and, and that was Jehovah. Babylon is, is a polytheistic society, which means they, they had many different gods. And, and if you research, uh, you can identify over 17 different gods that the Babylonians served. The king served them. The king's wives served them. The king's sons and daughters served them. The king's contraband, uh, they, they served them. His concubine served them. However, throughout the course of Four different kings, Daniel, 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 Daniel. he refused to serve and worship those uh, kings or their gods and continue to serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I can hear him say, as for me and my house, uh, we're going to serve uh, the Lord. I, I know we live in a time. I know we live in a time uh, uh, where, where where I have some friends who who want to say that that we are living in a country that worship like Israel. But but I, I'm sorry, I, I beg to differ. We we're in a land now where people are worshiping many gods. I, I'm like Daniel in this regard. Go ahead and serve who you may want to serve, but but I have decided to serve the Lord. The reason, the reason I, I continue to serve him while others serve their gods is because my God is portable. I don't have to carry him around. No, he, he carries me. I, I don't have to paint his picture or create an image of him because he is a spirit. Uh, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The reason I, I serve him is because my mama and my grandmama said that he woke me up this morning and he started me on my way. I woke up this morning with my mind. I stayed on Jesus. because I worship him in spirit and in truth. Daniel, 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 for his tenure uh, of, of the four kings from Nebuchadnezzar to this current king, Belshazzar, has, has, has been serving the Lord. When you read Daniel 4 and you read Daniel 5, you will discover very little is said about Daniel. And, and they may be, that may be because when you serve God, he will take care of you without a lot of things there. There are some people right now that you've never been on the front page of a local newspaper. You've never had your family interviewed on television. You've never appeared in a magazine, but God has taken care of you. 
for the course of, 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 of four kings, Daniel has been taken care of. I, I, I should have some witnesses here. I, I, I've been taken care of. That, that's right. In, in, in the background, quietly in the background, I've been taken care of in the administration of John F. Kennedy. I've been taken care of under Lyndon B.L. Johnson. I've been taken care of under Richard Mill House Nixon. I've been taken care of under Gerald Ford. Jimmy Earl Carter and Ronald Wilson Reagan. I've been taken care of a George Herbert Walker Bush. I've been taken care of under William Jefferson Clinton and George Walker Bush. And, and my favorite president, Barack Hussein Obama. And even in these times of Donald Trump, God will take care of you. This, this background character, Daniel, he, he's about to go from the background, oh, hallelujah, to the foreground. That's right. He's going to go from the background to the foreground. God, God has been preparing Daniel for this time. Daniel, Daniel's resume has prepared him for this event. We, we think something sometimes that, that the events... It is preparing for us when, when it is in actuality, God prepares for the event, that place, that time, so that, that, that we can be in the right place at the right time. Oh, you don't understand. Let me, let me, let me give you a little illustration. There, there was a plane crash. There was a plane crash that landed in, uh, in, 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 in South uh, uh, Southern California on, on the crowded 405 freeway. The plane, it lost its engine and the pilot signaled Mayday. The pilot, the plane all crashed on that freeway and drivers had to slam on their brakes and many, many sped away. However, however, there was a man there by the name of, of, of Jeffrey Mayford. And Jeffrey Mayford was, was not on his regular job. And, and when he saw the accident and the plane crashing in the flames, he, he veered away from the wreck, but then he ran to the plane and he dragged out two victims who were still moving, a, a wife and then her husband from the plane. Oh, oh I, I forgot to tell you that, 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 that Jeff's normal job is a firefighter with a local fire station. He, he had received training years ago that he thought was only going to be used during work hours, but, but God had prepared him for a time like that. Daniel, Daniel had been prepared by the Spirit for a time like today. Look at his resume that the king said about him. Before I go further, when God is with you, even those who are opposed to you will have to take notice. The king said, first, you, you, are, you are the same Daniel that, that's, that was stolen from your native land of Judah. Oh, are you are you the same Daniel that 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 my predecessor Nebuchadnezzar brought from your one one God serving country to 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 our many God worshiping country? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. This the king talking. Daniel, I heard that that you have the spirit of the gods in you. I heard that that you are something special. Yo, you have light and understanding and excellent wisdom is in you. King say, Daniel, Daniel, check this out, man. I, I got a problem with some writing on the wall. My wise men aren't wise enough. My astrologers cannot find the interpretation. Daniel, Daniel, I, I heard that you, you're able to make interpretations and to settle any doubts about what is on the wall. Daniel, if, if you can read the writing, I will put the claws of the king on your back. A chain of gold, a 
befitting a king around your neck. I, I will change the rules for you and, and take you from slavery and make you the third highest ruler in my kingdom. I don't know how you feel about that, but I see Daniel. And Daniel has been prepared for a time like this. Look, look at what God has been doing for Daniel. God allowed Daniel to be kidnapped from Judah, but he was allowed, but he has allowed his captive to be put his name before the king. God, God had allowed Daniel to be put in a lion's den. And then have the king that put him there pray all night to get him out. And when he got out, that king and all the people served God. God put into Daniel a spirit, not of those gods, but his spirit. That same spirit allowed him to shine and allowed him to be noticed. God put into Daniel his life spirit, his spirit, that spirit of excellence and wisdom without the benefit of a college degree or without man-made apparatus. God gave Daniel spiritual gifts that no man in the kingdom possessed. He gave him the gift of interpretation. He gave him the gift of, of resolving problems and dissolving doubt. He gave him the gift of reading what God has written on the wall. He gave him the gift of also being bold enough to speak what he reads. Oh, help somebody today, Lord. Daniel understood something. Maybe I, I might be by myself on this, but 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 when God makes a way for you, mm -hmm, you don't have to depend on people for your blessing. Daniel could have negotiated for his blessing and he could have asked for more than the king offered. But, but Daniel decided that instead of taking anything that a king could give him, he said, I, I'm going to take everything that the Lord has for me. And what I want you to understand what the Lord got for you. Can't nobody stop what the Lord got for you. Can't nobody take it away. The king offered him garments of scarlet and purple, but, but, but is there a witness here? God is able to put all kinds of shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, hats on your head, shirts on your back. He can take you from, from J.C. Penny's job, Pen A, all the way up to Vera Wang and all the best designers in the world. The king offered him a chain of gold. Just one chain? Come on now. There ought to be a witness out there that, that, that when the Lord wants to bless you, he can open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to store. He can give you more than just one of the thing. He can put gold chains after gold chains on you. What good is a chain around your neck when the government that we are under has tried to put chains around our hands and our feet? The king offered him the third ruling position in the kingdom. But I'm a witness here that God is able to promote you before you even get started. God can take you from third to second. And if, you, and if you're not careful, God can move you from second to first. Maybe I need to drop a word here. What is that word? That word is favor. F-A-D-O-R. Favor. When God wants to bless you, can't nobody stop you. When God wants to elevate you, you can't be stopped by nobody. When God wants to make your name great, nobody can stop you. I wish I had some, had <laughs> some of us <laughs> would try to please. I just wish they stopped trying to please. 
each other for promotion. I don't want man's promotion. I want God's favor. Just give me favor. Favor. Yes, favor. Favor will take you where promotions can't take you. Favor will take you where degrees can't take you. Favor will take you where your pocket can't take you. Favor will take you to places where folks have tried to block you from your entrance. But, but favor of God will break all of that stuff down. Daniel said to the king, you can keep your stuff. <laughs> That's hardcore. You can keep your stuff. Keep it. Uh-huh. Keep your stuff. Keep your gift and, and, and uh, to yourself. Uh, give the reward to somebody else. And then Daniel said something that, that just, 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 just awesome. It's, it's not bragging. It's not boasting. It's just a confirmation. He says, I, I, I will read the writing. You can keep your stuff, but, but I'll read the right. Remember that the king's wise men couldn't do it. Remember that the king's astrologers couldn't do it. They admitted it was out of their league. Daniel admits that with God, all things are possible. Daniel said, I will read it because I was built for a day like today. I was prepared for a day like today. This is my opportunity that God has set up for me. I, I, I'm about to close right here. And I, I want you to I want to thank you for listening to this word tonight. This, this word is for somebody listening now, right now. What, what you going through in life, God has set you up for a time like this. This is your time to move from the background to the foreground, to take your place in the foreground. Oh, hallelujah. This is your day to help somebody. This is your day to be a minister to somebody. This is your day to encourage somebody. This is your day to put your hands and lay them on somebody. This is your day to pray for somebody. This is your day to tell somebody how good the Lord has been. Somebody listening. God has had you in the background and God is saying that now, today, this day, April 25th, 2018, I'm moving you from the back to the front, I'm from the tail to the head, from the ground floor to the penthouse, from the end of the line to the front of the line, from, from mediocre to excellence, from low to high, from sickness to well, wellness, and from good to blessed, from okay to all right, to, from, from the ground to the sky. Oh, I know what I'm talking about now. Because we got Jesus as an example. Jesus was, was prepared for, for 33 years. He was born to die in the fullness of time. He came in, in the form of a bond servant. He came in the form of a baby born in a manger. He was being prepared for that day that he would die on the cross. He was preparing for that day. He died on the cross. Uh, he went from heaven to earth and from earth uh, to the cross and from the cross uh, to the grave and from the grave uh, to, to a resurrection and from a resurrection uh, to an ascension. One of these days, he's coming back from ascension to return to get an old wretch like me. I heard a song that says, an olive tree has to go through Three stages for it is for its all to run. It has to go through the shaking. It has to go through the beating. And it has to go through the pressing. And, and, and like the olives, some, some of you, just like I've had to go through, have felt that you've been going through the shaking. And you've been going through the beating. And you've been going through the pressing. But, 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 but you went through all of that for, 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 your, for your all to flow. And now your greater 
is coming. Yes, your greater is coming. It, it, if it had not been for the shaking, if it had not been for the making, no, if it had not been for the beating, if it had not been for, for, for any of that, I, I would have not known how the anointing I had would flow. If it had not been for the pressing, I wouldn't be able to walk in my destiny. He's preparing me. Yes, he's preparing me. He's preparing me and you for something greater. I feel a shaking in the spirit. I feel a beating in the spirit. I feel a pressing in the spirit because he's preparing me for greater. He's preparing you for greater. And it's your time. Are you ready? It don't matter because God has already prepared you for this time and he's more than ready to bless you it is your time you got a decision to make today is it your time to give your life to jesus this is the lord's day this is the day that he has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Give your life to Jesus today. And I tell you, it's your time to reap a harvest. Yes. Let's pray the prayer of salvation so that you can accept your relationship with Jesus the Christ. Pray with me. Dear Father God, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sin and was buried and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I invite you, Jesus to become the Lord of my life, to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. It's my time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Facebook, be blessed. Those who are going to listen to this recording later on YouTube, be blessed. And always remember to be a blessing.